Well, Stu, your Wildstone team are top of the National League. Is that, I know, early in the season, is that testament to the great start the boys have had? Yeah, look, huge credit's got to go to the lads. I think we showed a side of our game today that even us as a management team didn't think we had that real greenness. Last season, we did it against Southend, we grinded it out, but I think with the lads coming into the group, the Sam Habergans, the Max Kreshmars, King Seller come on today, he's been out the squad. Uh, and when we say it, and it is hard for the group that when you say you're out the squad, and you're going to play a key part. It's hard to really believe it, but he come on today and he was absolutely outstanding. And everyone really, you don't really want to single out individuals, but there's just a couple that have come into the group and their professionalism and their experience has, has kind of taken the whole group to another level uh, of winning, wanting to win, like that desire to win. Like when we're doing the small side of games now, everyone wants to win. The training sessions, the levels have gone through the roof. So look, it's. It's a hugely proud moment and I'm just delighted for the 150 odd fans that travelled down here today from Willstone. It's absolutely incredible to make the journey to, to Gateshead with the way the fuel prices are, uh, the train strikes and everything that's going on at the minute to make their way to Gateshead. God knows how long it took them here for us to be able to give that little bit back from the lads gave absolutely everything on the pitch and I think we got what we deserved. Uh, huge credit to Gateshead though, they're a very good footballing team, they're similar to us in the sense of their philosophy. They move the ball, they try and overload you. Uh, it just wasn't their day today, and I think our work ethic deserved the win today. Yeah, so it was a bit of a game of two halves, wasn't it? They, were, they looked on top until the red card, really, and then sort of changed their style of play. Sometimes it, when you go down to 10 men, everyone covers that extra 10 yards a little bit quicker because you know you have to, so you shuffle just that little bit quicker. And, you know, we went to two banks of four with one up front, and it's hard to break down. If you do a defence versus attack, which we do in training in different scenarios for the lads, it's very hard. You very rarely score, so it's hard to break down, but the lads still have to keep shuffling and they've put some shift in. Uh, it's just so frustrating now for us as a club, as Willstone, to, to put yourself in a position that we're in, but then know that the turnaround we're playing on Monday uh, is a killer. And I don't see any benefit from the National League in any reason in why you'd want to play on the Bank Holiday Monday when you're playing a game on a Saturday. I don't see why we can't just play it on the Tuesday night. Uh, but look, it's something we'll deal with. The lads will have to recover now. We've got probably a six, seven hour coach journey on the way home now. So we'll get on the coach. The lads will be recovering. We've got ice baths. We brought ice baths down with us. The lads are doing ice baths now in the change room. We're giving ourselves every opportunity to make sure we're as fresh as possible for, for the Monday game against Yeovil. I think even without, you know, I saw Mason go off injured and obviously Deji got his red card. I think even without them, were you expecting to make a few changes on Monday anyway, just, just to keep it fresh? I think you always look at the squad of what you got and then you, you always look how you can change it when there's the turnover so quick but I think our hand will be forced in, in changes now in what we wanted to do and in, in that but to be fair to me and Matty we, we kind of we only really prep one game ahead we only was fo solely focused on Gateshead we'll be back on the coach now and we'll be watching Yeovil uh, there's three games that we can watch so we'll be able to get them in on the journey home uh, and start prepping ready for a game plan to come up and try and get as as many points as we can out the game with the lads dead on their feet. It's obviously early in the season, but is it a bit frustrating that you can't really savour being top of the league uh, with the quick turnaround? Oh, I think you've, we've just got to keep taking one game at a time. Football changes very quickly. I've said it before, in this league, you can go lose six or seven on the bounce and your good start become, become a, an average start. So we've just got to make sure that we keep on top of it and keep looking to pick points up and keep going one game at a time. We can't get ahead of ourselves. We can't look at batches of fixtures and think, oh, we can get points here and there. It doesn't work like that. If you take your eye off, off of it, then you just get punished. So we've just got to make sure that we keep going one game at a time now and uh, keep the work ethic. The work ethic's been absolutely outstanding. And the togetherness in the group has been brilliant. Like we come down to Gateshead. Uh, we travelled down yesterday. We had a pre-match meal this morning together. So the actual contact time together we don't get that with all the other clubs being full time we didn't get it last night the lads after dinner they went out and done some bowling old v young said it was competition again and that's the good thing in this group it's, there's constant competition of wanting to win and then it breeds wanting to win on the pitch and you've just seen the desire to win a game of football uh, out there today has been absolutely outstanding so there we go the secret to Stuart Maynard's success is bowling that's it bowling that's it <laughs> take your team bowling the night before a game and you can get three points on the Saturday I wish it was that easy Chris yeah. um, and then obviously we look to Yeovil Monday it's a, as you say a very quick turnaround but with it being the bank holiday I think it's, it's a, and 
August Bank on day two is a good chance to get loads of fans in and really sort of appreciate the, the, the start these lads have had. Yeah, I'd, look, I'd like to thank the fans that have travelled again. Like, I can't thank them enough. They were really were the 12th man and as much as they were like way up there in the gods with no roof on there so they, you couldn't hear the noise but we could hear them and that's the one thing with our fans no matter where they're put in the ground they heard and that gives the lads that little extra 10% and that's what ends up getting us over the line to end up getting three points rather than getting one or coming away potentially not getting any points today the fans have made a huge difference look oh, I would love it if we could pack the vowel on Monday now with Yeovil absolutely pack it because it could be the difference and it really can they can really make the difference and when our lads are tired legged and a bit leggy if that vow's packed and absolutely rocking I think it can make a massive difference and obviously it's I guess not looking at the table again it's hard to not mention um, but with the start we've had and the points we've picked up you compare it to last season um, you know it really puts the end of season objectives makes them a lot more achievable doesn't it Oh, of course. Look, when we when we come into the job last season, you know we'd had I think it was two points after five games. So like it's it's a huge difference. We've got twelve now, but we knew that there was a process, and we knew that it was going to take time to really get it drilled into the group. Uh, we like to play two formations. We work so hard on it, uh, so that we can be tactically, we can be adaptable within games. Uh, and you've seen today we flipped the shape at half time, and we've ended up containing them even when we went down to ten men. So. We've got to be adaptable, we've got to keep working hard. For us as a management team now, you've got to work harder. When you're at the top, people want to shoot you down, so you've got to work even harder to try and stay there. Uh, look, we know what this league's about. We knew that what we were bringing in in the summer, we knew we had to be patient, and we just got to stick together now and keep going game by game. We've got a points target, we've got to get to that as quick as we can, and then you reassess once we get to it. We can't get ahead of ourselves. And then lastly, um, it's the Oval on Monday. Uh, do you expect them to bring a sort of similar game to what Gates had brought today? They're a new manager. Uh, I haven't seen much of Yeovil this season so far. I think they played a game early doors on BT Sport against Scunthorpe, I think it was, and I watched a bit of the game. So it'll be interesting to research him and watch him now. Uh, he's recruited probably, I think, over half a squad, new squad down there. So it'll be interesting. I don't know how they've gotten today. So, look, we'll just research him and come up with a game plan ready for, for Monday. OK, well, well done, Stu. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers, Chris. Top man.